Printed circuit boards are used almost in every electronic component, but they're not the only way to provide that technology. Ceramic substrates provide advantages in certain areas. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your approach? Yeah, so Remtech makes printed circuit boards, components, packaging, all from ceramic substrates. And we're primarily used um, wherever there's power or heat. Um, our ceramics will dissipate sometimes 300 times as much heat as a standard print circuit board. Now, in terms of the design and implementation, are there different things that uh, you're going to have to consider from a designer standpoint to utilize ceramic substrates? Yeah, usually there's there's considerations around sometimes handling with the with the ceramics, um, the size. You know, with a printed circuit board, you can make a much larger size. Um, usually, ceramics come in a much smaller substrate to begin with. Uh, so there's some cost advantage. There's a lot of cost advantages to a standard PCB, um, but anytime there's a lot of power requirements is where our print circuit boards come into play. What are some of the application spaces where uh, this is a requirement? So power amplifiers, um, radar systems, anywhere on the transmit side um, and the communication system, laser, uh, laser diodes, again, any, any heat, any semiconductor that generates a lot of heat would use our, our ceramics. So some of our other products, um, this could be a high density interconnect ceramic printed circuit board where we've got four mil lines and four mil vias, four or five mil vias, to packaging that goes into some sort of a, either a, a missile system or space system. We've got surface mount power amplifier packages. We've also have um, surface mount components, so filters. Then we also have surface mount terminations and other types of components that um, are ma ma manufactured with a resistive element. So some of these may be a, um, a sensing circuit, um, a power amplifier um, sub mount or, or carrier um, that would have a lid put on it later. Some of our direct bond hopper that would go into power applications. Some of these might go into modules for traction control on an automotive application. Some of these over here could be, these are laser, this particular small component is a laser diode sub mount. Um, so you have an edge emitting laser that mounts right up to the edge with zero pullback. And we do also do gold tin plating. So the laser can be mounted and reflowed. So the CHIPS Act is something that's very recent. Could you tell us how that's impacting uh, people that are going to be using ceramic substrates? Yeah, so the CHIPS Act focused on the semiconductor chip, mm -hmm. the $50 billion in funding in the U.S., but that's only part of the technology ecosystem. You can't have the chip or, or your electronics without the chip, the substrate, and the printed circuit board, where that's where Remtech manufactures printed circuit boards. And today there's only about... 1% of the world's capacity to manufacture these types of devices in the U.S. So we just opened a new facility in Canton, Mass, and we're planning on expansion, and it's 100% made in the U.S. Where would people go if they want to incorporate this into their designs? Uh, www.runtech.com, mm. <laughs> and then uh, all of our data sheets and um, capabilities are on our website, um, or they can uh, contact sales at runtech.com.